I'll be right back. <laughs> well, what's up, Internet? Uh, uh, apologies for our technical difficulties last week. You had the nice uh, silent movie effect. Uh, but hello, players. Uh, it looks like it's going to be an interesting scenario all around. Uh, let's see. Last time we were here, as I make sure that various things are working, uh, you all had investigated the town of Shale Point, where a contact of Will's mentor had last been headed and disappeared. You had heard from some of the border patrol uh, at the the line between uh, Grimspire, where you had become heroes, and Windhold, where you were relatively unknown, that the the nearby town that you are now in had some kind of weird thing going on with a, a uprising against magic users. Uh, you made your way to the town, you found a place to sleep, and various sleeping arrangements, uh, and then split up the next day to investigate uh, a temple nearby that had seemed to be a point of interest, and then a manor in the city itself. Uh, the temple excursion, not a whole lot was garnered there, uh, except for Tony's communication with an elderly couple uh, who just kind of explained this uh, recent stance on trying to distance people from using the arcane, since that seems to be, according to the local beliefs, uh, should have been left to the realm of the gods themselves, and we mere mortals should just you know, stick to the brick and mortar, muscle and bone behavior of, you know, normal life. <laughs> Having, uh, Blaskin also made an interesting entrance there and a quick exit as the, uh, the, the lead of the temple had kind of an apoplectic fit and shooed him out calling for guards if he didn't immediately disappear. Uh, so the robot went off to sulk around the corner uh, for a bit of time, and in doing so, turned himself into a mouse, I believe. As you do. The rest of the party then gathered, met back up after the folks who hadn't split off to the temple got to talk to a bard that had been staying there in the local tavern, uh, who gave them a bit of warning about keeping magic on the DL, and things have been a little bit um, fucky uh, in town lately with uh, as, as far as the the opinion on magics in general. Uh, but the center of activity or the, the most important building where some people seemed to go and not come back or... Uh, were directed towards was the manor at the top of the kind of spiral shaped structure of the city itself, uh, which was the Shale Point Manor, uh, kind of a, a fort-ish looking building, but you know, again, very austere. Uh, maybe austere is not the right word. Uh, very simplistic architecture in in the area, so it wasn't a big grandiose hall by any means. So the party headed up, made their way inside recognized a very unique individual from way back before half the party players had even joined this game and said individual whispered some hasty words into the chancellor's ear before exiting stage right uh, and now I'm trying to remember the, the specific lines of how that went but you all were basically then accused of bringing some kind of magical automaton into a space that was not allowing magical items or usage. Uh, and <clears throat> he started to bring the guards to bear uh, as we left last, se last session and picked up now. So I would like to do a couple things. Uh oh. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's a little loud. The music. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. I need oh. to share this map with you. And it's not on the right part of my... Okay, there we go. This band fucking rocks! Woo! So I need... Actually, no, I can't do that. Not to brag or anything, but uh, I just put the GPU back into my computer, so... Cool! In, in <laughs> two hours, you could join us properly. <laughs> For those of you following along at home, our resident ranger decided to take his computer apart on game night. Okay, listen, game day, I started this, like, at, I think, like, four. Goodness gracious, that's loud. All right, so far, I've got one of you in the map. Oh, yeah, let me get back over there real quick. <clears throat> map. Paladin, where are you at? I clicked on it. There right? you are. Being there, dumb. there you are. Okay, cool. Okay, it's not my it's fault. I can see. Oh, that's the wrong icon. Maybe I could drag the right thing onto the map. That would help. All right, so. Oh shit. Let's see, he was probably following behind. We're gonna put Tony. Uh, Lucky, how would you have been in the kind of group order entering the space? Probably would have been like in the middle rank or something, depending on who, okay. who led in here. I think Tony and Will were arguing at the very front. So. Oh, well, that, that simplifies things then. Yeah, because Tony... I remember specifically, like, Tony was kind of the one talking to the dude, and Will was, like, right behind her. Wasn't he, Tony trying to do the whole, hey, let's be in conspicuous, and, and Will was like, what, that guy over there? Basically. Yeah, no, not, no, 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 okay, hang on, hang on, don't be on her side for this, okay? Listen, this is what <laughs> happened. I just, I politely waved at the man, she got upset about it, and then we started arguing about why... That part isn't important, but we started arguing. <laughs> and Love your storytelling. She spoke to the dude, and then the dude was like, ah, but I think it's you, actually. And then she was like, but no, really. And he's like, no. She's waking up guys. right now, <laughs> realizing that someone is telling stories about her. Like, I have to get in there. That's kind of the hope. That's, that's what I'm aiming for here. Her ears start and burning. Just... She's like, I am kind of reviewing... spewing. Okay. Did you call her trying to wake her? Uh, I, you know what? I was on the phone with her, literally yelling, Emily, are you awake? <laughs> Emily, wake up. Well, you're only loud as, counts. you're only as loud as her phone. <laughs> Tragic. Right, let me, um, let me use my iPad to FaceTime dial her. Or you know, that whole, like, maybe her ringer is louder than the other stuff. Oh, yeah, that's the point. You can just text, like, a... <laughs> oh, every oh, single letter of your message. He's not going to hear that, trust me. Yeah, that would be the one thing she definitely did not hear. Okay. Oh my goodness. She did not answer. Call again. Which one? I mean, it's, it's on. cool. I'll just heal Will the whole time. It'll be fine. It's never failed us before. Oh, there's the one I missed. So in the, the throne up at the, the top of the room is the Chancellor himself. Um, to his left and right, you see a heavily armored or, or more heavily armed guard off to your left. And then there's a trio that you see uh, two close to the pillars ahead of you. And then another one kind of holding a symmetrical position up near the throne. Okay.
And yeah, I guess now would be a good time for some initiative rolls, so I know where you fall in this stack. I don't know. Initiative seems kind of uh, biased, if you ask me. Overrated. Okay. Man, look at that solid 10 right there. That is the beigest initiative roll. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? I... <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. Perfect no modifiers. <laughs> As all things should be. Did I uh, a three perfectly three? average. Yes, you're uh, <laughs> you're just you're on fire. What the hell? Wait, hang on. Why do I have a plus five? Holy shit! That's awesome. I mean, I can make it less if you want. <clears throat> no, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> I demand this. I appreciate the offer, though. Oh, yeah, for sure probably needs some initiative, huh? <clears throat> now you need the uh, feet that gives you another plus five to initiative. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I started looking yeah, at Yeah, that sounded like Thrall right there. I started looking at the feats recently because I was thinking, you know, I haven't done any feats yet. I wonder if there's any good ones, and there's actually some decent ones, so... I Whoa. might be doing one of those <laughs> at some point. All right, making sure I haven't forgotten anybody in the initiative order here. Uh... Oh, right. Apples follows you, Lucky, right? Yeah. Okay. Or, I mean, he can have his own initiative. If that's... Uh, I'm drawing a blank on how you choose what he does then. Is it? Do you have to spend any kind of actions to tell him what to do? Depends on what I want to do. If I wanted him to deliver a touch attack... Then he would have to use his reaction to do it, but otherwise we've just been doing it where he reacts on his own initiative. Okay. Uh, here, I'll roll him a quick... Nothing. It's a plus one modifier. <laughs> oh, good! <laughs> <laughs> he still almost goes last. <laughs> He rolled a three as well. <laughs> Nick's curse. I think when you cracked open that your your old PC was Pandora's box, man. <clears throat> I shouldn't have reopened it. Okay, so then at the top of the turn, the guard closest to the Chancellor. Is it me? Uh, your amazing roll of ten. No. Oh, dang. Let's see, the guard closest to the Chancellor is just going to make a kind of defensive move to come straight uh, in front of him and just squares off uh, shield in one hand uh, and a spear at the ready. Uh, Lucky, it comes to you then. Don't remember had we tried talking to the Chancellor yet? Or whoever this guy is? Uh, we, yeah. We were just in the middle of a conversation and then he was like, oh yeah, get him, guards. Yeah, he was kind of a dick. So he had been, he had, he had leveled with you that, uh, you know, magic was, was heresy not to be tolerated in this province and he had been told by his advisor. Uh, who was no longer in the room, that a, a group matching your description had recently been uh, seen carry, or, uh, bringing a magical automaton into the city, uh, and you were immediately under suspicion of uh, you know, breaking the, the rules of the town, so to speak, and were to be you know, controlled, arrested. Okay, I'm just going to, uh, I'm like, I think we need to play this one cool, guys, like, to the group, low enough uh, volume in my voice to, to the group, and then I'm like, I think there's a misunderstanding here, um, you see, uh, we were, that's a divine creature, not an arcane one. Roll me a... Pers... Uh... 
Yeah, roll me a persuasion check. I mean... So you get the... Um... Uh, you don't get much of a reaction from the the face of the chancellor who's kind of peeking over the shoulder of the armed guard in front of him. Is it we've recently age? made we've recently made a decree. No magics are safe in the hands of mortals. But it's 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 he's not a uh, a construction. He, he's a sentient being, made by the gods. Uh, we can continue that line, but if we're in initiative order, right, that's right. about as much as you guys get to go back and forth on. Okay. Uh, so next, uh, which one is he? Oops, I've got too many guards on my screen. Um, so 16 is just going to move in to melee range with a, uh, a long sword out and... Uh, kind of threatening towards Tony's neck, but not lunging to attack, just, you know, pressing the uh, the battle line, so to speak. Uh, this guard is going to move up to support defense at the top of the room. This guard moves down into your face, Will. Uh, his breath isn't all that great. Right about now, uh, a mouse that no one had noticed will had the mouse didn't he because uh apples dropped him like onto him yeah uh no blaskin was following you guys no, after remember he was a mouse but uh apple yeah, saw but him then and ran. then swooped yeah. down picked him up and he was like i'm all afraid of heights y'all remember and then he dropped him like in will's like on will's chest yeah but then he, he didn't he, like what? being there so he decided to just follow us anyways yeah, so basically you guys had lag time where he was following you at mouse pace, dealing with his own internal demons, and you guys got into the room first. Uh, he was skirting the edge of the room through the planters and such. Okay, I thought he was still with Will. Uh, no, no, he, he was not. He's somewhere in this room, just somewhere. I'm not sure where. Yeah. Somewhere. Well, <laughs> he <laughs> apparates... Uh-oh. Right there. Uh, into his normal form, uh, quite unexpectedly. Transformer noises. Blah, 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 blah. It's just more of like a poof. Uh, and he's back to, from, from tiny rodent to full uh, construct, uh, right in front of this guard, who had been behind the column, uh, a little bit bewildered. But the first thing he was going to try to do, according to the notes that he sent me, was cast... Um, what was it? Oh, let me pull it back up. I think it was... Is it his what, favorite the... cold person? No! It's no, it was the... Slip. That's a slap. There it goes. Right um, Here's a town that hates magic. First thing I do, I con cast magic. He's having some issues. He's going to cast Conjure Animals, uh, which completely fizzles out and does nothing. <sighs> it's the thought that counts. So that's his turn. Brashear kind of rotates around and just kind of squares off to the rear uh, to kind of keep a defensive line. Uh, he's got his hand to his weapon, but he hasn't drawn it yet. Um, just kind of quietly and it, with like a, a very cold, you know, all of the energy of his normal demeanor is just dropped uh, and he's scanning the space, making sure that at least in, in one area, or in one direction, uh, there is a, a defensive measure uh, for the rest of the group. Uh, 
Uh, Guard Nine is a bit stunned, uh, and in his panicked reaction, he takes a swing with his longsword at Blaskin. And hits. Jeez. Oh. Uh, I think he only gets one attack in because that was a bit of a, a stunning uh, surprise. So... Yeah, and then he just squares off. Flint, you're up. What are you doing? I mean, I, I guess I'm gonna... Gonna get in bonking distance. Initiate the bonking protocol. Yeah, I'm gonna do one of these. Is it just the move? Not yet. I just I got one other thing I want to do. Um. Chancellor said that he knew that the other guy was magic, right? The other guy who who left the room, he had magic. He knew that, right? Like, I think we said something about that at the end, and he's and he like we said something like, "Oh, well, we know he uses magic," and the chancellor said, "I know." I don't remember. <laughs> we can't check the yeah, replay. Honestly, the chancellor kind of takes me as the kind of guy who doesn't really care if it, if it doesn't benefit him, you know. He'd be like, so what? Yeah, he uses magic, but... I don't recall that being... a specific point. I, I remember sure us calling him out as he left, and it was kind of like, yeah, whatever, guards. I think that was... You guys were more dismissed as already being identified as a threat... So then anything you threw out as like a, a deflection or a defensive comment was being, you know, just swatted away. Okay. Uh... I guess Flint will, uh, just... Flint, you do see as you're moving forward... Mm -hmm. uh, you notice a stone that was to your left when you came in. Uh, one of the tiles of the floor has a similar like iridescence to the letter that was in the shale point sign. Uh, could you have like an idea or a point on the map for where that might be? Yeah, like there. Hazard, my god. Is it like a lone tile or was is there a, so sy in, a, a symmetrical there, one? It's all of the stones are still laid flat and the same kind of base material. Mm -hmm. Uh but this one has like a, a weird like I'm trying to think of like an abalone sheen to it, like the weird kind of almost uh rainbow element when you see the light hit it. Mother of Pearl. Uh, and that yeah, there you go. And that was a, a similar kind of colorization that you saw on the middle character of the shale point sign, or I'm the O of the shale point sign, uh, when you guys first oh. got there. One that we almost noticed, right? <laughs> well, based on your stone cunning, oh, okay. Okay. you can tell that there is a difference to this tile. All right. As oh. you charge forward. I mean, I guess moving forward would make it difficult for me to look around at. Or I guess. Did he notice before he moved? 
He could have. I mean, he only moved up from there. Like five feet, yeah. Is there a... I'm guess before I move, is there... A, can I look over and see if there's like a symmetrical one across from where that one is? Or is it one tile? Uh, you can use an action to do a more in like involved investigation. Okay. Do you just want a perception? Or Yes, give me a perception roll. Um but so it, you need double your proficiency bonus on this one. I have zero. No proficiency bonus. You add double your proficiency bonus uh, for stone cunning. Shit. So here, just do a do a plus six in the modifier and then roll uh, perception. Okay. Oh shit! Modifier. Uh, you can just type a number into it. Yeah. And grab perception. Mm-hmm. Fantabulous. <laughs> I'll make just I gotta stay as close to ten as possible. Honestly. <laughs> uh your quick sweep of the room doesn't catch any other uh glints of weird stone going on. Um I guess um, I guess as I move up then I'll uh, tell like you know the, look towards the group and just keep your eyes out on the tiles it looks to be a uh, a couple of unique ones and uh, I'll specifically point back at the one on the floor as I move up Okay. And I I don't really think there's an, another action I can take. Like Correct. Unless you want to use a bonus. Not really. I'm uh, I think I don't I don't think I have anything going on with that. That's what I Will you go? Your go. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, so the guards. If I oh, hang on a sec. How do I? Is it right click? Uh, let me use this real quick to just pan. There we go. Okay. So that guard is fight blasting for sure. At least uh, at this moment, yes. Yeah. So, uh, who, hang on real quick. So, well, it was, uh, it, it was Lucky who said, like, take it easy on these guys. Like, you know, no, no killing, right? That was you, Lucky? No, I was trying to tell everybody to, like, let's not fight at all. You know, let's stand mm -hmm. down, basically. And guard, the guard in front of me, weapon drawn and everything, is he, like, ready to attack me, or is he just standing defensively? No, they've, they've corralled into your space to... You guys are, are basically under arrest for magic use. Mm. Eating and abetting. Uh, are, what are these boxes to our left and right are, the, are these uh, columns those are columns with braziers in front of them with braziers you're gonna jump on it aren't you <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit Will's trying to remember what, what's the disengage action do is that just does that take my action if I disengage disengage prevents somebody from taking an attack of opportunity against you when you move out of their combat space yes it is an action unless you're a, a rogue or have the ability to use it as a bonus action Okay. Now, if I have a bonus action, wait. Let me just make sure, because I do. Don't I have a? I'm trying to remember. 
multi extra. I have extra attack. Does that mean that it, it has to take place if I take an attack action, or does that does that technically give me a another action I could use? No, that's as long as extra back. attack means if you take your action to attack, you attack twice. Okay. Uh, kind of a bummer. I will... Uh, why am I being so indecisive? Is it just me or is it probably the laptop. audio cutting in and out? Or the volume up and down? Uh, it's a little up and down. I would like to run... Well, I guess really, actually, I'd like He's to probably run. getting closer and further from his phone. Uh, no, I'm using AirPods. Oh. Uh, He's just doing my, this. Exactly. My God. I would like to run there, and then I would like to run up that column. Okay. And I are you disengaging dis first? I will not disengage because I would like to take an attack action. So he does get an attack of opportunity against me. Um. He's actually not quick enough to swing to attack you. Uh, you, you. He wasn't necessarily expecting someone to run away. Uh, so you sprint over to the column, and you go to run up, and you fall flat on your ass. Really? Well, your you see the boots don't stick at it, all. He just falls on his back. <laughs> you go for the usual will maneuver, and the second you're, you're, you go to lift the second foot to meet the, the column, gravity pulls you straight to the floor. I, uh, I look at the guard, who I'm sure is looking completely like shocked and like confused, and I say, uh, I've never had performance issues before. This is new to me. You are now prone. Um, I guess I'll use my action to get up. <laughs> no, it just takes, what, half your remaining, half, half your, so, 15 movement to get up? Okay, so five, so I've still got ten. So you're down to 10 movement left. Uh, I'll put you there. Oh, thanks. I'll, uh, just come back over to the guy right here. <laughs> Never mind, uh, just, I, just had to do that. <laughs> As I as I swing my as I swing my sword at him, I, I say in a very defeated voice, "I was gonna do something a lot cooler than that, but this will have to do." <laughs> I was gonna parkour <laughs> off there, but never mind. <laughs> okay. So that is guard thirty three because I am playing. Okay, I need to do. I need to drag my thing. It would it's control or is it C? Control C? For that no. be... <laughs> Control click attack. Okay, I'm targeting him, right? You guard are targeting guard 33. Bitchin. Where did my where did Will's page go? What the hell? Uh oh. I see it. Yeah, but it's not showing up on my screen. There it is. Okay. Uh, let's just go for a good old fashioned. Uh, we'll do a um, we'll do a red dawn whispering night uh, red dawn combo. So that'll be. Oops. Nope. Not primal sun. <laughs> I did not activate primal sun. Red dawn. Still hits. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do one of those. Wow, really? Roll the one. Fuck you. A whispering Night. Oh! Is that a critical? That was a crit. 28 definitely hits. <laughs> okay. I'd like to go ahead and preface that uh, I'm aiming to injure, I'm not aiming to kill him. Okay. So you crit him. He's not critically, <laughs> he critically disabled <laughs> for life. 
Listen, he's still wounded. He's not. He wounded dead. him, and he emotionally encouraged him to just drop this entire line of work. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was Look at you. Bad. You haven't even got a name. And then I get to take an extra attack. Oh, hold on. You got three attacks in there. Oh, just, sorry. I'm I never I'm remember how many to, you get. I'm this... referring to Colossus Slayer. Oh, okay. Wow, which I got an eight on. That kind of balances out your one earlier. Well, now, it see, does. that's where you need to be careful when you do it, okay? Because he wasn't injured till your first attack. Your second attack was the critical. If you invoke Colossus Slayer there, that's a die you threw. You would get to throw another eight-sided die. Because it doubles all dice. But, so, but no, this so is under what, what of your the, abilities? Hang on. Uh, it's underneath feature. Oh, there it is. So, Hunter's Prey, Colossus Slayer. Yeah, so Colossus Slayer, it just says that uh, yeah. you can deal this extra damage only once per turn. It's it's just an extra 1d8 sometime yeah. in a turn. Yeah, but so, his, set, his first attack did the injuring. It doesn't work until the creature's already injured. So that means his critical mm -hmm. attack was the first attack on an injured creature. That would have doubled his eight-sided die if he used Colossus Slayer on that. But Colossus Slayer isn't actually an attack. It's no, no, just, no, uh, but if it's invoked on a critical, it doubles all dice. He doesn't invoke it, though. The, the wording of yeah. his ability just says, Your tenacity can wear down the most potent foes. When you hit a creature with a weapon attack, the creature takes an extra 1d8 if it's below its hit point maximum. You can deal this extra damage only once per turn. Right, but it's yeah. a die you throw on a critical, which double a critical doubles all dice. If he had been hexed... Hunter's but the mark, critical is that's all double but the, everything. But the critical is on my attack with in this case it was with um, Whispering Knight. That was the critical hit. But it would the also at the eight. same time made Hunter's Mark or your Colossus Slayer would have gone off also. And as long as it's a dice being thrown and not a static number, you get to throw an extra dice. My critical. I mean I guess you it it would have gone off on the I'm next hit. I'm gonna let DM make the decision on that. I you can throw another D8. That, but okay, yeah. If DM's gonna let me do it, uh, who am That's I? That's what's say great now? about crits, because if you can set it right, like if you were to use a smite, you wait for a smite for a critical, because it doubles all dice. Is that how a critical works? Because I, I thought critical was just the dice for the attack. No, no, all dice that go off on. A, if you roll dice during that critical attack, they all get doubled. Yeah. Okay. So, and in this particular case, I would apply it because the very next attack you did was the critical, which would have benefited from Colossus Slayer because it was below its hit point maximum. Okay. Then, you know... Other, I mean, otherwise, if there's no critical involved, it's just like, okay, just make sure you add the D8 into your round. Yeah. Uh, okay. But it's not... Like, if you had then gotten another crit, there'd be no more D8 to throw. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Makes you can sense. smite with a sneak attack. You can throw a fuck ton of dice. <sighs> rogues, man. Like, hundreds of damage at the later levels. Warlock rogues are awesome. Uh, yeah, so... Recovering from the, the interesting uh, parkour fail, <laughs> Will turns around, picks up his pride... And uh, levels it along with his blades into a quick counterattack against the guard that had charged up to uh, arrest the party. Oh boy. Was there anything else you like, wanted to do, Will? Uh, I mean, that's it. I, I've spoken to this man. I've, I've slashed him a little bit. Uh, I've said things. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I don't really know if there's anything else that I can do to recover at this point except win, so... <laughs> yes, we will do glorious battle on this day. All right. Oh, and then can you can you please hit the button because I have such a small screen and I have yeah. to keep flipping between all these different things. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, apples is up. Oh, I haven't put him on the on the page. Where would you like apples to be? Was he? He was outside, right? Yeah, he didn't come in the building. No, Apples was was uh, shadowing the dude that took off. 
Right, but he didn't actually. You you had you asked me before. Uh, you had apples outside looking for him, but he didn't actually come out of the building. What he ended up going down a side hall. So apples is circling the building, watching for anybody with the, the mental description I sent to come out and to follow him. Okay. Uh, in that case, he you doesn't see anybody show up. That tracker, if you want. Or make him invisible. Whatever you want to do. Sure, I'll just, uh, well, I mean, I can just skip him, it's fine. I want to make him um, extra visible. Uh, it becomes Tony's turn. Ultra and it is, ah, oh, shit, I gotta take another turn. Alright. <laughs> Welcome to the game, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> shit! Right. God shit. damn, I have to keep playing. That, that fuck, son of a... Um, Tony, oh, shit. Uh, what can Tony do? Does she have anything on her spell list that I want to use? Um, oh, hang on. I know a good one. Let's do is it this one, I think. Uh... Okay, let's do... Some good old fashioned spirit guardians. I don't know why I cast that. That was, I'm sorry. Uh, let's do pointers, circles. I wanted to be. I'm just gonna stop it, you. It doesn't work. Ah, shit. It just fizzles as she starts to to make the incantation. Did um, she forget that I said that there were some wonky plates? She rolled a high enough intelligence check that she would have probably recognized between a couple people, like the fact that Blaskin just kind of fooped into existence, which wasn't his usual suave style. Will didn't walk up a column, and Flint's comment that there's some shiny things about. Um, you know what? And that the horses right. disappeared going through the front gate of the town. Reggie! Um, <laughs> You're right. That was my bad. Uh, she hits this guy with her mace and misses. <laughs> wow, what a very nice cleric -y thing to do. Listen, we're here to help. Bonk! Yeah, and she was aiming for the head, too. She was going to try and knock him out. Uh, I don't think she can do anything else. I think she's kind of screwed there. Um, okay, I'll let me put pick up the thing. Oh, you did it for me. Thank you. Oh yeah, I didn't know if you were on clicking things again. Yeah, I was close, but no, no cigar. Okay, uh, with Will's assault on the guard there in front, uh, this heavy guard is going to move oh, yeah, down. Oh yeah, floodgates. Sorry, guys. <laughs> move down here. <laughs> uh, but that's. His movement, he doesn't want to dash, so he's just going to... Yeah, you see him kind of just, just kind of brace in a, a combat-ready position. Um, kind of a spear, you know, Spartan-style, leveled over the, the shield uh, toward Will. That comes back around to Lucky. Lucky's just going to, to be yelling like, Stop! Stop! It's just all misunderstanding! Everybody stop! And he's just trying to calm shit down. At the same time, can I glance around since he said, you know, there's a mother of pearl sheen or whatever to something to see if I can see mm -hmm. what it is and know what it is? Uh, yeah. Why don't you give me an arcana check? Okay. Uh, you catch... You catch this one. In addition to the, you also see the one that Flint saw. And it's worth what, one more. There. So there's a. You, you're starting to get the sense that there's a, a series of of tiles laid out that have an enchantment or a, a specific magic to them. Uh, that's 
Based on everything going on, these are probably some kind of a, a null magic effect or a uh, an anti magic shield. It's warding the area. So isn't that them using magic? That's kind of hypocritical. They're bad guys. No shit. Yeah, but they think they're the good guys still. You got to use medicine to kill bacteria, man. I mean, it's all biology. Yeah, and af after I, I yell that out. It like at a lower voice i'm like it's warded we're not there's not gonna be anything going on here for us just give up we need to talk our way out but i'm just trying to to calm the situation down i don't know if you any kind of persuasion role or anything uh yeah go ahead and give me a persuasion role which i'm not good at i am I mean, important dice can come into play whenever. <laughs> well, it depends. Now, if there was, like, on the first one, if there was, like, an opposing role for him to, like, anything, I could, like, have done that. But it's just, like, he's like, nope. So... His defense stays up. Uh, the one in fr the guard in front of Flint, uh, you see when you're screaming like, "Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa!" Uh, gives just a little bit of breathing room. Like his, he goes from like stab to the neck to like drops the sword a little bit. Um, so you, some people are listening, but there's just there's a lot going on right now, and and someone's taken a fair amount of damage. Oh yeah, I there's don't blood on the he's floor. He's gonna listen. He's gonna defend himself, but mostly the uh, I'm trying to force that towards the uh, the guy with the control of the room, saying he you know hit the chancellor. Off. Yeah. Okay. Supreme uh, chance. And if there's room to say it, still, I'm like, Will, stand down. You can get that out. I'll, I'll give you that. Uh, okay. Chancellor rolled high enough that he's his stance hasn't changed. You, you don't catch Unless any kind of... Unless he rolled a one. I don't know. Did he? If it matters for the situation, hell yes, he failed that shit real bad. <laughs> <laughs> Got a one and an eleven in my pocket from last time. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you close enough to him to use it? There's not a range uh, on it. The range is for my bountiful luck. People have to be within 30 foot. Otherwise, my portent dice are, if dice are rolled, I can manipulate them. Hell yeah, he rolled bad on that shit. <laughs> God damn it. I love your character. He is the DM now. No, he is the, the editor to my campaign script, <laughs> is what's going on. You know, I really like what you have going on here, but I'm going to change it up. Yeah, I'd like to... That's a nice like, campaign like you the, wrote. The Thor. <laughs> Shame if anything happened to it. And picture like yes. the Thor meme, he's like, does he really? <laughs> <laughs> so, Lucky, in all of your panic shouting... Uh, and you don't have that portent die anymore. It's marked as used. <laughs> you you do see him go from like the the kind of relaxed posture back in the throne, like arms on the the rests, just watching his his minions work for him. Uh, to he, he kind of leans forward, and but that's all that you get during the the combat round. So you you think something, something may have landed there, maybe, maybe just maybe. There's your meme and channel. Uh oh, I'm in the wrong channel. Too bad we can't like share a little sidebar of the the, the Discord the content. Oh yeah. I'd have to I'd have to make another little window for I should do that at some point. So here's the chat for all the meme shit we're throwing. <laughs> some of them are great. I have to literally like stop looking at the screen over here for to be able to, to focus on the game. Uh, 
Okay, where were we? Guard 12's turn. He was up... Um, so with... There's that voice again. Um, I know that he's guy. actually going to retreat back in a defensive move toward the Chancellor. Uh, with the other one advancing into the group, he's just... He's got to keep a paycheck. Um, who's this one? 33. Oh, this is the one that you've given a really bad day, Will. Uh, yeah, he's just going to just tear into you. Um, stop the, the horrible half-elf who's like trying to remove all of his blood. So he gets two. I don't know why people aren't into exsanguination. That's weird. Oh, oh look, that's hang a critical. On a hang on. Tit for oh, no. What? How many attacks did he make against me? Well, the first one missed. The second one was a critical. Oh, uh, I don't think that that would mat. Okay, never mind. Because I have the thing where they have to. I... Hang on, let me check to see if it's disadvantage. Because I no, swear... I think you have a higher AC for a additional attacks from the same foe. Or they yeah, got okay. or something. And that doesn't Why matter against a critical. Matter? Yeah, well, hang on a sec. Why? I, well, I thought it was disadvantage because then he'd have to re-roll it. Why is my... What the hell? Why That'd is be the, insane if it was disadvantage. That's where you need a cloak of displacement. My... I'll check your abilities. Let's see. Multi-attack defense. There we go. Uh, when a creature hits you with an attack, you gain a plus four bonus to AC against all subsequent attacks. He hadn't hit you yet. Uh, damn. I'm extra screwed. Mm hmm. That's a bummer. Num, 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 num. He's, he's only using it one handed, though, so. Why is my mouse. Okay. Fuck. I was like, a shit I lost roll. control for my mouse for a minute. Yeah. Yeah, he hasn't been, uh, he hasn't been in the gym very much. Definitely have seen better rolls. Man, I only get so many critical hits against you guys. And then the dice have to go and steal. Alright. Listen, I'm gonna roll a 10 on my next turn. Don't worry about it. Alright, he's gonna follow up with a short sword attack. <laughs> that misses too. <clears throat> Especially because you had higher AC, but it was also it was already gonna miss. Um, Alright, so then it comes around to Blaskin. Uh, Blaskin, having failed his ability to summon his spear or, uh, or conjure his animals, uh, was then going to try and ascertain why he couldn't summon his animals. Uh, given some of the the shouts from Flint uh, and yeah, that's a good enough roll. Uh, recognizes or, or notices the stone nearest to him. Uh, and in you, you see his eyes go from like the normal green. They just like the color drains, and it's just like an intense, almost LED black, uh, or OLED black, and turns away from Guard Nine, uh, who was attacking him, and just raises a fist up, and does kind of a what's the the three put like the superhero landing, but with a punch down onto the tile of Old right smash. here. Exactly. So I need to bring up his character sheet to figure out his melee attack. Oh, where'd it go? Sorry, guys. Oh, of course, it's not actually going to be in his weapon list because he's just meleeing. Uh, that's a... What's the what's the attack roll if you're just doing barehanded? It's a standard attack roll, but you do unless you've got some other ability. It's one point of damage plus your strength modifier. But what's the to hit? Is there just no modifier or? It's your you would use uh, your regular to hit. Just use a weapon attack unless it's got bonuses to the weapon. Okay, uh, and so you would do a strength actually... base attack. It's because it's not a finesse, which is stupid. Fists are not considered finesse weapons. <laughs> Unless you want to say, yeah, uh, that's bullshit, and then he could use dex for his modifier, plus his proficiency. Okay, I mean, the, I guess it's a stupid question. I'm, I hadn't thought it through. Uh, 
a tile isn't going to be able to get out of the way. So... No, it can't move it, but if it's got... I don't know how you have it done. Like, sometimes doors... Like, sure, you hit it, but you also could always fumble and, like, break your arm or something. Or the tile just doesn't crack. It could have, like, a hardness to resist. It could only have five hit points. I don't... Various ways... Oh, there we go. That. Okay, no, he, uh... He hits solid and hard enough to... What's his modifier? Wow. Okay. So... <laughs> his fist lands on the tile, and there's kind of a, a bizarre blue-purple... <clears throat> arcane electric arc and sizzle that kind of flies off the, the tiny chip he takes out of it. Uh, but you do kind of feel this weird reverberating pulse for a second. Uh, Lucky and Brashear feel it um, as he makes impact with the tile. Uh, it's, it's still glowing. Uh, it looks like it hasn't taken that much damage, but he kind of made this weird ripple effect uh, when he collided with it. And where'd it go? What a jerk. 22. Okay. And Guard 9 did get an attack of opportunity against Blaskin for moving out of his space. Wait, no, that's still within five feet. I guess he didn't move completely out yet. Okay. Take it these are two and a half foot squares? Uh, the, the small tiles, yes. No, because like I think... what we're standing on, because we're taking up four squares, our icons. Yes. The, the ones, so... If you're on the carpet... You just see the the full five foot squares. Oh, it's the ones way the, it's in, way the maps drawn. Okay. Yeah, uh, they have smaller tiles than. <laughs> they they chose the two point five foot square tiles to tile the the manor. Okay. Uh, so then it comes to Brashear. <clears throat> Let's roll a. Man, Bashir, you're just not feeling very clever today, are you? Uh, he's going to come around you, Lucky, uh, dropping the, the rear guard and concerned for Will's well-being, is going to issue a, a single uh, declaration towards the guard uh, and will. <laughs> Both of you stop right now, otherwise I will have to intervene on the young man's behalf. So, we've got his uh, intimidation roll. Oh no, it's a zero. <laughs> versus the guards. What's the intimidation versus insight? Does that sound right? Uh, I think that's yeah, the case, good. case thing. Okay. Uh, guard 33 is a little too um, blood ragey to decide to change his course of action right now. So... Brashear is going to kind of poise with his uh, longsword drawn uh, in kind of a, a threatening manner towards the, the guard that's fighting Will uh, and just looks like he's tensed to make an action. Uh, guard 9 is going to chase after the robot who's now trying to fight the floor. <laughs> that 
misses. And that misses. Wow. Oh, he gets to... Okay, he does hit with a short sword for another 7 damage. In his back. Lame. Flint, it's your turn. Uh, you do... You, uh, you caught Flint's attack on the stone, and with what you know about masonry and the reaction when he impacted, there is a sense that these are... that there is a fragility to them. You don't know what's going to happen if you you manage to break one, but you, you like your your druid buddy over there has kind of shown a chink in the armor, so to speak. Hmm. One second, let me check something. A lot of what I'm seeing right here, Brandon, just trying to look real quick to clarify. It looks like usually a gym will, it's not a, a that I can find a rules written thing yet. Uh, you set a DC kind of based on the situation, and they have to beat that with your intimidation. One of them suggests using like in 3.5, using opponents to hit dice <clears throat> plus their insight modifier to set the DC or something like that. Gotcha. I guess Flint's gonna try and wedge himself between Tony and the two guards. Like he's gonna like outstretch the the mall and like try and like shove her back. And Is Flint uh, melee attacking Tony. He's not attacking anybody. He's just I I, I heard him. hit her with the mall. I said I'm <laughs> literally trying to wedge myself between her and the guards. So are you placing yourself there? I mean... Or are you just stretching your arm out towards that space that I just dropped you in? Uh, no, I'd, I mean, I'd, I'd be trying to, like, push her back, like, behind me if I was trying to do anything. I'm trying to restrain her, get her out of the way. So you're trying to move her? Yes. Uh, it's an ally... She doesn't necessarily recognize what you're doing right away. You, I, I, I tell you what, you can move her if you can very briefly tell her what <laughs> this is about. Uh, Flint, like while he's trying to do it, is what y'all all stop. Nobody has to die today. Okay, so. <laughs> you bruise her with one point of bludgeoning damage as you kind of shove her twirling back uh, to Lucky's side. Mm -hmm. uh, but your action does push her out from anybody, or nobody was attacking her, so uh, no one's taking an attack of opportunity, but you've <laughs> you've dwarf-splained her straight out of danger. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh, point over at Will. I'll be coming for you next if you don't knock it off. To who? To Will. <laughs> okay. Can I roll that as intimidation against Will? No. Oh. <laughs> will, you hear him. But he started it. Well, they started it. As someone punches you in the face. Uh, it is your turn now, Will. Ah, yes. Alright. Uh, I look at guard 33. <clears throat> and, uh... And I say, uh... Well, now's your chance to surrender. <laughs> <laughs> Bo's sitting there bleeding. 
Oh, I could just see that as a cartoon. <laughs> you guys have been trading blows back and forth. You just can I use my reaction yeah. to say, "Stand down, Will." Sure, you can use your reaction. Stand down, damn it! To be fair, Will, you're currently winning. <laughs> Quit egging him on. That's exactly what I needed to hear. That's what his ego would be doing. <laughs> yeah, he's winning against the one in four people in the the, the the direct vicinity with the two other people we're, up on. We're talking like twelve seconds into the debacle. <laughs> I, 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 I just don't think he has eyes if he's saying he's winning. I I'm gonna leave his I'm fucking ass on the Brandon. ground. I don't care. Brandon said I'm winning. How dare you? I mean, it's technically we might be able to wipe these dudes out. I'm just saying we're brand new in a town. We don't know how many more guards there are. Well, there's at least two at the door. At least. Okay, well, I... Does, does the guard give me any sort of indication, or do I have to wait for it to be his turn? For what? Uh, the guard in front of me. Do I have to wait for his turn for him to reply to me? So, based on initiative order and, and the six second rounds of combat, you are getting to move before he is reacting to the next like pulse You could use the defensive time. action and that it would give him disadvantage and show that you're not attacking but still protecting yourself. So, is that, up to you. Me, is that the same as me holding an action then? No. no you so, to reserve an you action, use your action like, to defend. Yeah, it could be like, hey, you could say, I'm reserving an action that if he attacks me, I'm going to attack him. So as soon as he starts lunging, you, you would use your reaction to make the attack. Okay. Then I will, then, since everybody is screaming at me, stop attacking, stop beating this man. He is. He has. A, he has a wife. He has children. Uh, this man has to go, and he has to tell these children and this wife that he got his ass kicked so badly. <laughs> so, I will. I will. I will show some mercy to the man, and I will take a defensive action for this round. And I'm gonna give him a. Gl I'm gonna give him a glare, and I'm gonna say. Actually, I already said it. I said. Uh, I basically said, "Now's your chance to surrender." So, are you taking the defend action, or are you holding an action? Yes, I'm taking the defend action. Okay, so if he chooses to attack you, it is a disadvantage. Yeah, okay. Actually, I think that's anybody who attacks you after your yes. turn. Yeah. Okay. So you're, you're in a wary defensive stance now. Some kind of crazy half-elven, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, this one... Apples continues to scan for Aldrin's visage, and no one seems to be coming or going from the building, but it's a pretty big building. Uh, it extends right up to the edge of the cliff, and there are multiple tiers of windows in the cliff itself that drops down to the ocean. Uh, so it appears to apples that there are some subterranean levels to this structure. But if he's continuing to scan for that particular individual, no luck so far. Uh, Tony's turn comes around. Oh, shit. That's nice. Oh, did you see what I put in chat too earlier, Brandon? Yeah, no, I'm I'm following. Uh, Tony will do the same. She'll she'll also defend. She'll be like, why the, why the hell was I get, trying to help Will? That was dumb. She's never said that before. Do 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 do. do. Okay. Okay, top of the round, the Chancellor points out toward the center of the group. Uh, he's having a hard time actually seeing Lucky between all of the guards in front of your group and uh, your diminutive stature. Uh, 
but something in the tone of your voice and just this weird random influence uh, that just kind of sparked his uh, curio curiosity, I guess. Uh, you hear him say, Wait! Wait, why? What? Wh who's... Who's confused? What 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 do you have to s stop killing them? Um, that's about as much as he's allowed to get out. Um, Heavy Guard has made his way through the ranks by not being the frontline person for quite a while, so he's just going to let Guard 33 continue to pick handle up guard his wheel problem. Pulverize. <laughs> Uh, guard 16, ooh, is not very easily influenced. Um, we, have, we haven't hit each other a single time, sir. And he has seen him defending a woman. I'm actively, hey, no. call, I'm actively calling for these schlubs to knock it off. But that was a four. Why do I have an initiative rolled up there? Uh, you rolled for uh, apples. This was just recent. It just... Yeah. I don't know how that happened. I'm, seriously. I don't... <laughs> I'm like, why am I down on initiative four now? I was like... I'm like, did you turn on a random initiative? I'm like, cool. Because I was going on like 18... So... You granted disadvantage attack to Will. Yeah, because he's doing the defensive, so I was just putting that on there so if you attack him, it automatically throws the disadvantage. Oh, that's... I don't know why that made you roll initiative. Yeah, I have no idea either. But yeah, I was... eight Because you were at a very different initiative Yeah, slot. I was like at 18 or something. Yeah. What the... Hold on, let me put you back. I don't know why that fired just noticed it that I was there. I'm like, okay, maybe you turned on the random initiative. That's awesome, in my opinion. But I was like, oh, this is weird. Okay, well, I tell you what. You should have gone first then. So, since I hadn't decided what this guard was going to do anyway, yeah, uh, you go first. I'm going to continue basically just dialoguing like there's, let's talk about this. We're not bringing our cane death and stuff here we're trying we came here for uh what's it i'm going blank on the word i want to use basically we for audience we came here for audience not to fight i'm gonna try to uh just persuade again sure do i roll i gotta scroll back down apple should be on four Oh, okay. That's right. Which, he of course, his own. he's not part of the combat, so it doesn't matter. Right. I'm just kind of keeping track of what's going on out there. Okay. Uh, you you make your uh, continued plea, uh, trying to kind of <laughs> argue over the din of a little bit of combat. <laughs> I'll even, I'll even step forward just a little bit with my hands in the air, waving, you know, that whole... Because they may not have seen me good yet. So I'm like, hey, look, it's me. Okay. Um... They even got pocket sausage. <laughs> one hand's up. The other one's like... <laughs> One hand's got a sausage in it as I'm like waving. Look, look. We can discuss this over sausage. Uh, okay. The. <laughs> the disarming nature of your breakfast, fu ah, breakfast food fueled argument 
prevents Guard 16 from trying to get aggressive towards Flint or yourself, given the fight and the blood on the floor to his left. So Guard 16 kind of spends his his action looking between the the more senior guard behind him and then the throne backwards and hearing some of uh, the Chancellor's kind of curious remarks is, is uh, a little bit back and forth. He's, he's still got his guard up towards Flint, uh, or and, and towards the front in general, but he doesn't take any offensive actions this turn. Guard 12 is just happy that he's not near any of you. Um, guard 33 is just... No, he's, he's personally insulted. Uh, Will... Well, now, before he as he starts to attack, Will can, gets to use his reaction to attack first. Because he was no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He was my yeah. Bad. I, he I was defensive, defend, not not yeah. Ready so was that a, that's advantage? Sorry. Yeah. Backseat D. The attack here. is at disadvantage. No, that's fine. Uh, we we threw both of those out there, so um, that's, but you you were able to put that disadvantage on him for me, so that helped. Uh, he does still hit you, unfortunately. Um, no, he so doesn't. He gets, he gets in. <laughs> oh, now there should be a, that wasn't put on there. There is another plus four because he's been hit by the same guy, so he has that. Oh. Uh, I don't know. With twenty one, I don't know. Hang on, how many attacks? Is that one? What will? What's your AC? My AC is uh, seventeen. Twenty one still, yes, still hit. Oh wait, is seventeen normal? Yeah, seventeen is normal. Okay, well then twenty one yeah. still hits. Just. Hang on, let, me, uh, let, me, let me check real quick, just to be sure that I'm not being stupid. Yeah, it's 17. Yeah, so you get this, uh, this, this feral shout from this guard that has been severely wounded uh, and is not about to be like, okay, you just you know stabbed me in places that probably won't heal correctly given the, the medical options in this town. Uh, and just goes with this like, ah, and then just like glides past your your sword in its defensive stance and catches you square in like the the left armpit, uh, gouging out a, a fair amount of tissue. Is that a defense? That extra defense is that for the specific target or anybody else now? His plus four is just for someone who's been hitting him. Okay, because I put the I just now put the extra four AC on him. But that would need to be removed if another target attacked him. Okay. I'm not getting attacked um, by the same person twice, am I? It, you've only been attacked by the same person this entire time. Okay, cool. Then, uh, if he attacks me a second time, don't forget about my. my, my that's what we were doing. That's what we were doing with the plus four to begin with. Yeah, because this is same oh, I, it's the same target. That's right. It shouldn't have mattered for his first attack this round. Yes. Is it the way your ability works? Is it just is target it... once it's done. Yep. So I get exactly. I get the plus four after the first hit. That's not the for the whole combat. It's each round it changes. For, for the rest of it, the turn. Yeah, each each turn. So if I were okay. to be attacked by one person on this turn and they attack me multi you know, they did a multi-attack attack me multiple times, then it would, as long as those hit, then it would affect the future hits. But if he missed, it doesn't. It but only, only per turn. It actually do hit me. Exactly. Yeah, so okay. when it comes back Not around, he's reset. Okay. So, it, so But well, since he's fighting someone with multi-attack... it will go into effect. Yeah, so, he, I mean, either way, he got the first hit in. Right. So now he's going to attack again, but now there's the plus four up. Yeah, now I'm at 21. And... Which horribly misses. Uh, so... First attack was lucky. Uh, second attack just glances straight off the, the blades you have up in a defensive stance. Uh, and his short sword attack is also... Jesus. He's, he's mad! That also hits you! Really? 21? Yeah! Oh, wow. That's what your AC is, is 21. Damn. So he gets in two solid, like, 
like grind the blades just grinding against each other, sparks flying in some situations. Um, two stabs into you. Lucky. I tried. <laughs> and <laughs> I can't hardly hear Will. Yeah, he he comes up and down. Also, every time I turn the music down, it seems to get louder in the track. That's funny. Okay, uh, so that's his turn. You, you just, you pissed him off, man. Um, Good. He gives me an excuse to fight back. Plaskin, let's see. Skills, abilities, just double checking something. Blaskin just continues wailing against this tile. Um, and two more punches land, or they're like, I don't know if it's like a, yeah, I'm sure he would flavor it his own way, but uh, just like a double hammer blow, basically, just straight down onto this, this tile. Uh, you hear a resounding, like, crack, and this... Like explosion of, of like a line of bluish purple energy just kind of rockets up to the ceiling and let's see I need to draw something where's my pointers Brashear and Lucky both, and, and Blaskin, uh, both feel on, almost like this weird dullness wash away uh, from their usual, uh, what am I looking for? It's like a breath of fresh air, but on a subconscious level. Uh, the space you're in right now just feels just a little bit clearer. And the the tile that he has broken in half is there's no more glow to it. Uh, where'd it go? I need a sheet again. Ah, oh, there it is. I'm just checking with him for uh, bonus actions. Do, 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 do. I don't think he has anything in his bonus actions. Wow. Good berries even in action. Goodness gracious. Ooh. What does this, the details of this say? This is fun. This is what it looks like when someone's reading the details in Fantasy Grounds. Never mind, that's not going to matter. Sorry, I was inspired for a second, but it... All right, no. Uh, I think he just, he turns. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> now I have to check this other one. Nope, that's an action. He just turns and, and looks like... He doesn't have teeth. He just has kind of a, a kind of clean-cut jaw to his construct frame. But he... he turns on the guard who recently stabbed him in the back quite literally uh, and you see his jaw just kind of drop in what you assume might be a feral menacing face but there's like there's no fangs to it yet 
Uh, but you know, the, the arms are out. He's just there's a, a very it's like tense... a puppet that just opens its mouth and there's nothing there. Exactly. This is, but the the rest of the armature is in like the the tense, um, angered, primed uh, for action kind of uh, body pose. That's his turn. Uh, which then comes to Rashir. Oh, he didn't stop. What's this saying? <laughs> Ooh, okay. So why did why did Lucky move up one? Just he's like presenting himself, like you know, in a passive sense, and just trying to show, hey, look, I'm serious. Also, he can't hardly be seen because he's so short, so he's just stepping forward. One to be seen, to be heard better, to show the peaceful posturing. You're making it really hard to get me in between the way of uh, people, places. You can people. you can move through allies' spaces. Yeah, it's just it's, it's double movement, so my space would be ten. Okay, so his actions. Or okay, he's got extra attack. Meaning, connect this one. Okay. So, Brashir levels his left hand toward the the guard that's fighting against Will. And releases a firebolt, which releases. Uh, so let's. Ah, oh, yes. Target's back on the menu. Yay. I hate all you people. We're here. We don't bring magic. Oh, yeah, there's a fireball. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it flies true. Uh, the firebolt gets within a couple feet of the guard and then pfft, fizzles out. Mm. Proximity. They're 10 foot radiuses. Uh, as a, 15. What, watching that uh, die out, he then just charges toward him and gets as close as possible, uh, ready to try and assist. That NPC keeps saying something at that part in the track. Uh, Guard Nine's a little worried, but is going to go ahead and try and attack the one that now looks like it's, you know, uh, Ultron's ready to mess him up, so 